Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about swine flu and the symptoms that infants have when they contract swine flu. Now, swine flu is a common term for a flu virus called H1N1. We name the flu viruses based on the antigens, the proteins on their surfaces. They come with letters and numbers, and the H1N1 type was originally isolated or frequently isolated in pigs, therefore swine flu. But H1N1 also frequently infects adults and you're more likely to get your swine flu from another adult than from a pig unless of course you work on a pig farm but that's a pretty small minority of our viewers uh, so how do you know your infant has got swine flu well unfortunately the symptoms of swine flu overlap the symptoms of almost any other viral upper respiratory infection that an infant can get so the most important hallmark symptom is fever. Now let's stop here and talk about fever in babies for a minute because a fever in a newborn, ideally taken with a rectal thermometer, if it's over 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or 38.0 degrees centigrade, you have got a potential emergency any time in the first three months of life. You never want to blow that off or just give some Tylenol. That baby needs to go to the doctor immediately and be evaluated. In older babies, however, fever is a common uh, symptom of viral illnesses including flu. The fever may get as high as 104 without being alarming. When a fever is 104 or greater, we do like to kind of figure out what's going on with that baby. It's not the fever is going to hurt the baby, it's not. It's just that now we're a little more concerned about serious disease. So if you have a baby with a fever of 104 or 105, call your doctor's office immediately and see if someone would like to see that baby. Now, obviously, with influenza, you're going to have runny nose, stuffy nose, cough. Whoever has influenza usually feels miserable, muscle aches, joint aches, headache. An infant is not going to be able to tell you, but you're going to notice that your infant feels really bad. Influenza is particularly nasty for causing vomiting and diarrhea as well. So often when vomiting and diarrhea are present with those other symptoms, we're even more likely to suspect influenza. Now, there is a rapid identification test for influenza that many doctors use in their offices. In the last year, the rapid influenza detection tests were relatively lousy for finding swine flu. And because swine flu got some specific anti-influenzal medications, uh, the Centers for Disease Control released a policy on how to figure out if somebody has swine flu. They're likely to release a similar policy every year, but the rule was in infants who appear to have swine flu, you weren't even supposed to worry about getting the test, you just treated based on the symptoms. The only problem is there's really no treatment that you can use safely in newborns and infants under age six months of age. So that becomes a little bit of a dicey situation. Do you need to hospitalize? Do you provide supportive care? That is all up to your doctor's judgment and it's subject to change with each influenza season because the viruses tend to behave differently from year to year. So, Bottom line, if your infant has a fever, runny nose, stuffy nose, cough, vomiting, diarrhea, looks miserable, and it's influenza season, do be thinking about influenza and have a very low threshold to ask for your baby's doctor's help in figuring that out and treating it. Talking about influenza symptoms in infants, I'm Dr. David Hill.